On the 6th of August, 1944, Major Preddy shoots down six planes in a single sortie. He is awarded the Distinguished Service Cross and is sent to the United States on leave. Soon after his return, he will meet his end through a series of unfortunate incidents. On the evening of Christmas Day, 1944, Major George L. Ratsey Preddy Jr. heads a flight of 10 P-51 Mustangs of the 328th Fighter Squadron of the 352nd Fighter Group. Freddy is at this time one of the leading American fighter aces with 24.83 victories. He has seen action in the defence of Darwin, Australia, and his remarkable flying has seen him appointed as the commander of 328th Fighter Squadron. Taking off from Arche Airfield, Belgium, also known as Airfield Y-29, Freddy's flight is vectored to a dogfight in progress near Bonn. Freddy's wingman for this flight is Lieutenant George Carty. Freddy's flight soon encounters German fighters and a dogfight ensues. Freddy shoots down two BF-109 G-14s flown by Unteroffizier Heinrich Zinnen who is killed and Feldwebel Karl-Heinz Schroeder who bails out. This brings his score to 26.83 victories. Freddy and his wingman Carty are vectored northwest to patrol for an unknown number of bandits in the airspace around Liege.
On the way, they are joined by a white-nosed P-51 flown by Lieutenant James Bushier of the 434th Fighter Squadron of the 479th Fighter Group. Freddy spots a lone FW-190 Dora at ground level heading northeast and decides to intercept it. He dives southeast of Liege towards Aachen. As he nears the German fighter, Preddy approaches the anti-aircraft positions of A Battery of the 430th Anti-Aircraft Battalion, 258th Field Artillery Battalion, 19. Preddy is observed to fire on the Fokkerwolf before the anti-aircraft gunners begin firing, either mistaking Preddy's P-51 for an enemy fighter or missing the enemy fighter and hitting Preddy instead. Freddy is seen to take hits from quadruple 50 caliber turrets and begins to climb to the left. He jettisons the canopy and attempts to bail out. Simultaneously, 40mm Beaufort's guns of the 555th Anti-Aircraft Battalion also open fire on Preddy's aircraft. Carty and soldiers on the ground observe Preddy's Mustang diving inverted at a shallow angle. Preddy is seen to fall from the aircraft from 50 meters or 200 to 300 feet. Preddy hits the ground without having deployed his parachute and is killed. He falls near the anti-aircraft sites to the southeast of Aachen. Bushia and Kati also receive hits from the ground fire. Bushia is forced to bail out while Kati makes it back to base unharmed. <laughs> 